uh, this ad work from Hong Kong Excel. So in this video, I want you to uh, master all the question type for uh, vectors, and you will know the uh, IB exam question type for uh, vector in MathSL. Okay. So uh, basically, there are only five kinds of question in vectors. Okay. So the first question type that will be just uh, the dot product. Okay. Dot product and the simple vector equation. Okay. So when I say vector equation and dot product, so you should know. Uh, what is it about? Okay, so dot product is um, the a dot b equals to a b cosine theta. So this equation is on your data booklet. Okay, and this equation helps you to find out the angle between two vectors. Okay, so I will talk about this later. And then for vector equation, it's always defined as r equals to a plus t b. So this kind of question. So usually this one is two mark and this one is six to seven marks. Okay. And the second type of question will be vector intersection. Okay, intersection. So basically this kind of question will be like seven to eight marks. Okay. So uh, they will give you line one and line two. Okay then you have to make it equal to find the vector intersection okay so basically pointing different uh, direction and we have the intersection point right okay so this is the second type and the third question type would be unit circle oh i mean sorry sorry unit vector okay unit vector and <clears throat> the uh, cartesian equation okay so what does it mean by unit vector so unit vector is always defined as one over v times the vector okay so this concept is very very easy to understand so you just need to know that oh unit vector why is it called unit vector and why is it like that okay so basically you can see so if the distance here is 10 okay if one unit of that then you can say is 1 over 10 right okay but that is a vector so a vector so let's say um is pointing to so it's just an example okay Two five, okay, but this one would be wrong. But uh, just an example for you, for your understanding, okay. So then that will be one unit of that, right? Pointing this way, right? Originally is two five, so one unit of that, then it will be one over ten, and then times two five, okay. So this is unit vector, one over the magnitude. So this is one unit, and then times the vector, okay. So uh, this is the concept, and if you want to know more about this, then you can uh, go to my uh, go go to the following link, okay, overseas.bno.hk, and I have a trial lesson on uh, vectors, okay. So you can just type in note three, okay. This is vector note three, unit vector, yeah, and you understand all the question type. And for Cartesian equation, what does it mean? So what does it mean by Cartesian? This word seems very, very complicated, right? So it's actually just talking about x plus y equals 10. This is what we call the Cartesian equation, okay? So x and y relationship. So that is Cartesian equation. So uh, how do you change it like 2, 1 plus t, 3, 2, okay, into Cartesian equation? So this is this kind of question, right? Okay, you need to know how to change the vector form to uh, Cartesian form. So this is the third question type. And then the fourth question type, it would be the diagram question, okay, diagram question. So diagram, so it will be like, it's always parallelogram, okay, or rectangle, okay. So rectangle, and uh, if I say parallelogram A, B, C, D, okay, parallelogram. So many students would just like, oh, assign the letter to be A, B, and then C, D, okay, then that's wrong. Always remember, it has to be clockwise, okay, A, B, C, D. Okay, so I'll teach you more uh, on this uh, on my trial lesson. Okay, and then for uh, rectangle A, B, C, D. So what is so special about the rectangle? Okay, related to um, the vectors, because here is 90 degree, right? 90 degree, yeah? So if you say A, B dot A, D, okay, the key concept of this one, A, D, must be equal to how many? So if that is right angle, okay, that must be zero okay this is the key thing you need to know if two lines two vector lines they are perpendicular okay then a b dot a d okay the two lines dot together must be equal to zero yeah okay but if you, if you don't understand the dot product okay then i'll recommend you to uh try my uh, lesson on note one okay note one so that that will explain all the basic concept for uh position vector direction vector and also the angle okay and the fifth question type would be um the application question okay so this one you must put a star okay it's very very hard and it's always 15 mark questions okay at least so it's a long question so uh what is it about the uh like application question so it's always about the distance velocity 
okay? And uh, distance speed and then um, time, okay? Uh, question, okay? So let's say, let's say um, we have a 10 meters and then your speed is um, 10 meters per second, okay? So how long does it take for you to finish the 10 meters run? Okay, then it will be one second, right? So you need to know the relationship between distance, velocity, and time, or you can say speed, okay? So um, distance is equal to speed times time, right? Okay, this one is uh, distance, right? Distance is equal to speed times time, okay? And this concept will apply to vectors, okay? But if you want to know more, then uh, you can uh, uh, click, um, you can choose in my note five, okay, for the trial lesson, okay? And then for the last one, okay, it will be the uh, newest question type, okay? So basically, I'll reveal all the newest question type in IB exam, okay, in note six, and also um, I'll teach you one more question type that is the reflection, okay, of vector. So this kind of question, okay? So um, after you, you have done all the note six, okay, so I'm pretty sure that you can get a level seven, okay, for your uh, unit test for vectors. So um, you need to understand all the basic concepts from a start, uh, from a note one, okay, starting from note one, and then you can go through note two, note three, and then note four, okay? But for an uh, advanced student, then you can, uh, if you have like basic understanding, then I will recommend you to uh, start from uh, note three, okay? Yeah, overseas students, okay, if you need more help, then you can uh, just uh, go to the link below, overseas.vino.hk, to register a trial lesson, okay, the one whole lesson will be uh, 1.5 hours, okay, and then for a local student, if you're interested in our course, then you can just uh, register your trial lesson on hkxl, okay, dot com, so you can just go here, and then you can register a trial lesson, okay, so I'll see you next time.